Welcome to Doc Bro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh, and today we're here to react to episode four of uh, The Ones Who Live, What We. Yes. And uh, I think this is the next three episodes. I think it's What We. I can't remember the other have one now. Have Become? I think so. Yeah, I think maybe the next ones is Have Become. And I, and it was I think the, it's Have and then Become. Have we don't know the, the last one, I don't think. I think they released it, Did but I can't, I can't remember what it's called now. Yeah, guys, this, I think, is going to be a really good episode. Uh, this was written by Denai Guerrero. So, yes, Denai Guerrero and Andrew Lincoln has, have had, you know, many artistic choices on this on the show, of course. But this episode is written by her, which is going to be amazing. And... Yeah, this episode, I think they're going to be, like she said, they're taking their, we saw in the trailer, they're taking a time out. They're going to talk. And I wonder if this is when she will tell him about RJ. I am really looking forward to this episode. I don't know why. Um, it's just ever since we saw the the trailer, mm -hmm. I just, I'm, I'm looking, because this is probably going to be the longest that these two have been alone. Together, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And yep. I think in the trailer, we saw them arguing over, like, does he push the button? right does is the reclamation team like we're going to get to see you know him explain to michonne why he's being the way he is mm -hmm. um i just think I'm, I'm excited to see you know what happens here yeah it, it's been a little bit interesting with rick i mean we've seen rick has been just they, they're having him act very vulnerable and he is you know he he goes through the struggle of wanting to get away he knows he can't escape and then he he decides that okay I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna. I, I can't escape. It's just killing me. I'm drinking too much. I'm just gonna let them go. <clears throat> then Michonne gets in the picture and he's like, "Oh, damn. Okay. Well, now what do I do? Because now she's in here, and now we both have to get out." He tried getting her out by herself, but we knew that wasn't gonna happen. Yeah. So now they're both out. So we know that once it word gets back to Jadis, she's gonna send a reclamation team. Like she said, we're gonna hunt you down forever. But that's going to be where I'm going to be interested to know where the story is going is they're out now. They can't go straight home because they have to deal with Jadis. Jadis knows exactly where they're at. So I wonder if they're going to go back and maybe try to get Thorn, persuade Thorn, even though she's all the way in, and others, maybe riot the civilians yeah. in Soviet I, Republic. I don't know yet. We'll find out. But if yeah. I had to guess, um, I think that, look, Rick is, like I said, going to tell Michonne why he feels the way he does, mm -hmm. meaning they could annihilate Alexandria and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's when Michonne's going to probably see some of, she's going to get it. She's going to understand why he's so scared. Yeah. And then maybe a plan is hatched as to, okay. <clears throat> we need to eliminate everyone that knows about us. Exactly. And, yeah. and it'll be very interesting to see how this transpires. Exactly. Yeah, guys, super excited. Once again, if you enjoy, smash the like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you are new, and let's get into episode four of The Ones Who Live. Let's do it. Let's do it. Showing it again. Cleaning the floors. Oh, leg. Yeah. Body of water. The music choice is really weird. I know. Welcome home. It's like on an automatic timer to turn itself on. Wouldn't the CRM just be circling and like they see the lights on? And they're like, okay, they're there. Dun 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 dun. Title screen hype. She's, she's pissed. She's gonna beat your ass. We needed a timeout. I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you said that. Don't press the button. Did he press it? No. He almost he. He was tech checking to see maybe if it was there, but somebody here or did she go to the bathroom? No, oh, she was just checking maybe for water. Obviously a high end house. Oh yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Whoa. Well that's just a screensaver. <laughs> He's just falling back in love, man. He's seeing her. He hasn't seen those scars that she's gotten on her back, dude. You remember that? Oh, you remember that? Mm. 
God, it's like you see the love for them, and then sometimes you see them like they're almost like strangers because they get so upset with each other. There it is. It's the button. Oh, do you see the yours, huh? see the dust? You want to call them here? I just wouldn't be putting it in your pocket like that. I know. You can accidentally <laughs> press it. <laughs> I mean, pocket dialing. It is a thing. VB JavaScript. JavaScript. <laughs> okay, we got a programmer. Just like Judas. Visual, Visual Basic. Basic. That's so cool. With two IT people here. <laughs> You've become a bit of a creative writer these days. Damn. Nope. In the getaway boat, give another masterpiece for your children. Because I'm not going to be the one to children. tell them that I She said children. She let it slip. She let it slip. Children. Children. You said children. His name is Rick. We call him RJ. I was pregnant when the bridge happened. He's... He's almost eight. Damn. A lot of time. You need to give me the PRB. What? I just told you you have a son. I don't know who you are anymore. I'm trying to keep you and them alive. You need to give it to me. Believing you were alive and you were. You, you, you think I didn't want to, want to be with you? We need to go back. Your preferred temperature will be... Where is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Not to show them who you are, and you break the kill record. You grab the RJ from she, Thorn. She broke she it. Did. And you pull us out of a goddamn helicopter. That's because I don't like who you are with them. What they make you. They won a long time ago. They won the day Jadis brought me here. She brought you. She was running away from Alexandria. She saw me half dead at the riverbank. She will destroy our home if I try to leave. She's threatened by us because together, you and me, she thinks we could do anything. We can. That's right. We can stop her. We kill her then. Should have done that in the beginning. She left it all behind, who we are, where we're from. So people will find us if we did that. Please, just give me the PRB. Break it. How are you going to explain what happened? We go back. We find her evidence. We destroy it. We kill her. And then we go home. Done. Let's go. <laughs> That's the plan. Do you think we can do anything? That's the thing. Yeah. Because I do. He doesn't. He's just not. Yeah, he's not what the same. What do they do to you? Yeah, they broke him. Do you still love me? Always. I've never stopped loving you. It's true. He has it. He's just so f afraid because of the what the CRM can do. That's our helicopter. How did it just become it's daytime? Our lives. It's gone. Jadis will think we died in there. They all will. Oh, that's their helicopter? Mm -hmm. Oh, sick. I didn't pick up on that at first. No. Oh, dude. Dude. What did you say? I'm not going home. W-T-E-F. What's the E? Actually, W-T-E-L-F. <laughs> what the ever-loving fuck. <laughs> you know, your son, when you haven't asked anything about... He calls you the brave man. Just, just to get this straight, we just got a way out. They think we're dead and you want to stay. Stay with an army. The first man you and Nat killed, his name was Okafor. And he's who saved my life. Help him change it. I didn't have anything left, so I gave myself to his mission. His mission is not your responsibility. You have a family. 
Okafor's gone. So once one of them, now I'm the only one left. Damn, dude. He is just... He cannot see it. He honestly just cannot see it. You won't come home with me? To your life? The kids? I don't want to do this. I have to. So no. Dude, Jeez. that is so hard to see this right now. That's not it. You're lying. But you know what? Your wish is granted. I'm out. Back to my kids. Who I left to find you. I pleaded with you. And now I have to go. Okay, so we thought we were thinking like maybe this was a hospital. This is like some high rise apartment, apartment. Lux luxury apartment. Yeah. Condos maybe. Damn, bro. It's just so hard to see Rick broken like this, man. I mean, you get his point to a point, but it's like, bro, you're literally telling her, no, and I am the, not the, going the, home. The thing that sucks here is she's now having to turn around and leave knowing all she did to get there to find him. Oh. And now she's waiting for him to open the door. Pleading in her mind, probably, please open that door. All right. And Did here the comes button get pressed? A chopper. Oh, shit. What does CRM call him? Doubts. Doubts? <laughs> so weird. Well, there's some gnarly looking. Dude. I wonder if they did it so, like, nobody could try to get in there and figure stuff out. Like, they're fully destroying it. Destroying the helicopter. Yeah. And here come the doubts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like doubts. No. Like, what are you doubting? They're alive? <laughs> <laughs> that leads us further into dead mass. This way. Come on. Oh, and it collapsed right away. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You. We can't breach from this aisle, even if it's a defensible position. I don't even have a weapon, Commando. So how are we supposed to? <laughs> Goddamn defensible position. Commando, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. I like their uh, back and forth I right know. now. When I conceived of Greenwood, it was so clear. Like-minded innovators in various fields seeking to live off the grid to create a new, more sustained and hopeful tomorrow. I cannot go another day continue to watch our mission die. I am sorry. Looks like, yeah, it looks like they electrocuted himself to death. When folks try to save the world their own way, it tends to go to shit. Sound familiar? <laughs> That I would give everything, my, my hand, my life for you. That's not me. This is what I need to do to keep you safe. The only time I feel safe is when I'm with you. I'm not the brave man. You shouldn't have come. Oh, oh come away. on. I didn't have a choice. You did. Dude, she's going to knock you out. Maybe I should be afraid of you in the red uniforms. I don't know what you're capable of. You lie to me. You keep lying to me. I don't know who you are, because the man I knew would never talk to me like that. Ever. <sighs> He's going to get there. I know he will. He's going to get there. He's got to get over this fear. Three, two, one. Go! Good shit. I had this. <laughs> Watch out. Sorry. I know that. <gasps> Can't you move it? Yeah. <gasps> this is trapped. I can just... Oh, oh shit. you gotta be kidding me. There's no way those walkers can climb through that shit. They're not that smart. They're dumb. Uh, could we be getting a variant walker? You gotta go. That is never happening. Just need to hear that. 
All right, she's out. She's out. It didn't impale her. Good. Leg's not broken. Okay, back to the room. This side hasn't started buckling yet. Are they in the same room? Or probably different. Same one. So they probably took a walk. She probably went through a walkway over to where that building was, and then yeah, that's why it started buckling that side. Right. It's naughty time. She's not bit. It's naughty time. Is it naughty time? Dude, just fucking go in, bro. You don't have to act like you're strangers. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. Time for baby if number three. If this doesn't three. change his mind, I don't know what will. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. See, you just need to calm down. We need badass Rick back. Yeah, we do. Uh oh. Oh shit. He's back, dude. Look at the scars. Oh, don't make that face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> Like, I know. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know it feels good, man, but. Uh, wow. And he's stubborn. Just like his daddy, yes. Like his mama. He does have your good kind of heart, though. City's intact. No burnt out buildings, no fallen walls, no bullet holes. Just the dead rail thin. Food. They may have starved, but no crops. Well, even if they did have them, crops fail. One bad harvest. Something has to burn to bring it back. This mark on your back. It was a woman that I led into Alexandria. She was a psychopath was, um, who used kids. Searching for you every day, me and Daryl. There was no body, no trace. She encouraged me to keep looking. I was seven months pregnant. She stole Judith and then some other kids. She was sick, twisted. Did this to me and Daryl. You did this to get away. It was the only way. And you were trying to come home. I was trying to come home. You're still trying. I see it. So we need to decide what's next right now. Oh, I'd be wanting to get the hell out right now. <laughs> it was the love of my life. I couldn't just let you go. It felt like my heart rip, ripped itself out of my chest and walked out the door. Then come home with me. Hold up in a mall, trying to recover with Nat for a year. They took a year from me. Yeah, we saw the seasons change. From my time with my kids. This hope that you have in the CRM, sacrificing yourself. It's not real. We, your family, are real. I'm real. You're hurting me. Mm. Mm. That and was a line. You, that is not how you love. What did they take from you? Carl. They took Carl. When I got taken, I fought. Not just by trying to get away, but I'd meet up with Carl in my dreams. And that's how I survived in here. And then one day he was just gone. He just left. And there you were. You and I fell in love in different ways. But then you were gone too. And I couldn't see your face anymore, just like I couldn't see Carl's. I can't live without you. Without you, I die. Okay, so what, there's the... I don't know if I won't lose you again. What if I lose you and... I can't figure out how to die all over again. I can't. At least if I think you will live on longer than me without knowing if you do, I can just believe that it's true. Knowing, seeing that loss, I won't survive that shot. I just won't. There you go. There's the truth. That was beautiful. That was awesome. <laughs> I came here through the hell that we have both been through to take you home. We go home, Rick. 
and he's nodding how to protect it together oh yeah now is he in his military gear oh he looks civilian gear if he's in civilian that's it yep he's in civilian gear yep we got it. Tell me the button's still there. I mean, he's got part of his military gear, but not. I don't think it's fully. His top's not. Keep the bottom. He's got good pockets and stuff for weapons. Look what you guys can do together. Unstoppable. Yeah, you got that swagger back, bro. That's the button. Yep. Tell me it doesn't get pressed with shit falling. Look uh, at that. Oh shit, bro. That's the yellow car. Stick shift. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they're so, they're they so dorky a, now. I love it. Electric car. Oh, it's an Let electric car. Ethanol in the back seat. Okay. We can make this whole damn world ours if we want to. Oh, yeah. Yeah! That sounds like something I'd say. It is. Dude, I am loving this. Oh, shit. Damn, dude. God, I wish we could see a variant just sprinting at him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're Dude, all they even got extra tires in there, bro. We're, we're all happy right now, Batteries? but this episode is going to end with... It has to. Yeah. Wow. Episode four. What'd you think, bro? That was really good. It was really good. Really well written, yeah. Denai Guerrero. Very, very good. It, it, it needed that episode to really talk to Rick, to really... For him to tell the truth. You know, that's what he's been hiding for so long, and he finally broke down, and we got it. Yeah, we, we got it. The the raw emotion there between them, the both of them. And, yeah. you know, she did not want to leave. Even though she was going to leave, she didn't want to leave. She was sitting in that hallway hoping he would turn that, that doorknob and walk out. And, you know, you heard from him that his, his heart was just felt like it was getting ripped apart when she left. And and so, like, these two, they just absolutely love each other and adore each other. And I think that it just finally clicked for Rick after she talked. After he got that out, you know, it yeah. changed. It, it was great. It was great to see that. Well, I love the explanation of, you know, uh, him dreaming of Carl kept him going. And then once Carl disappeared, then he got Michonne. And he said, like, he can't live without them. And he can't. He he said he learned he, how to die but continue on. But he but he also said another line of like I can't I can't make I won't survive mm -hmm. if you die. Right. Like I yep. won't make it after that. Yeah. And yeah. so he's so scared of losing her yep. that it's just gonna crush him. He would rather have the memory knowing that she's alive Correct. to continue on rather than her dying, then he won't even want to yeah. be in alive. In other words, anymore. if he sent her off in that boat. Mm -hmm. Whether she made it or not, back to Alexandria, in right. his mind, she was alive. It's his mind, she's yeah. alive, and I can continue doing what I need to do. I'm dead inside, but I, at least I can I could be dead inside, but still mo continue on. In a way, I get you that. Know? I get I, it. I do. I do. But I do. It's just hard to see. The when other he's... side of that is who we know who this guy really is. Exactly. And, and that's not him. No, and that's why I love Michonne attacking him for it. It's like, this is not you. What... I loved her asking, what did they take from you? What did they do to you? Because that's exactly right. Like he, I mean, we've seen it. He's a changed man. He has been. He's been gone for so many years. He, like we said before, he, he was able to live and continue on knowing that he may not be able to dream about them anymore, but at least he believes that they're alive and doing well. And that will allow him to continue on. Um, I, I love it. And I, I love his breaking down moment. Big props to Andrew Lincoln, man. That was amazing. Um, you just really yeah. get to like the these two are perfect for each other. Unstoppable, like, exactly. And, Unstoppable. and you really see that resonating through this episode. That yeah. like even though they're they're battling each other emotionally, like mm -hmm. and what they're going through, like 
they're unstoppable. Unstoppable. And he didn't quite see it, or mm-hmm. maybe he saw it, but just didn't want to believe it. Yeah. Um, it was the fear that really kept him from doing yeah. it, and that's what Michonne was trying to full, to finally get rid of it. Like, what are you so afraid of? Yeah. You know, and he finally I, told us. I'll tell you this, man. Uh, every episode is my favorite episode. Dude, yeah. Right? It's been like, great. It's been great. I'm... I've, Really I have not had any this. major critical issues with this series so far. It's it's really well written. I'd say the only, I wouldn't say critical issue, the only issue that I had was meeting great characters and they die in the only episode Nat. we see them in. Like, Nat was amazing. But that's happened but so much in The Walking Dead. It has. Yeah. And we know what the series is about. It's about them getting home. Yeah. And yes, people we come across the way that could be great. Yes, it sucks if they die, but at least it gives... You know, those characters gave Michonne a lot more hope and yeah. really drove her to continue on. Well, you so. did have a problem with the with the sunset or the sunrise. Okay, that was very fast. <laughs> it was pitch black and then all of a sudden, oh wait, it's daytime, the helicopter's in the building. Uh, wait, how did we get there? Like well, they could have made it like they were talking through the whole trust night. Trust the process, bro. No. Trust the process. It was, it was too fast. <laughs> But yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as we know, the CRM potentially believes they could be dead. They came in, they destroyed the helicopter, so there's no traces. But I think in, I, I'm pretty sure when word gets back to Jada, she's like, they're not dead. There's no freaking way they would have died in that helicopter. Well, I think Jadis, like, because, you know, we see scenes of Jadis chasing them down. We know that that's happening, right? Just from yeah, the previews. We, we saw it from the initial trailer. From, from the initial trailer out. and the previews. Yeah. I think it's more of Jadis wanting to be sure yes. that Rick is dead. Like, oh, yeah. I don't think that the CRM is going after Rick. I think it's more of Jadis. Not the Rick team. Yeah. Correct. Her, I think it's, she might she might have a rec team with her maybe but i think this is more validation from jadis i have to make sure that rick's eliminated making sure yeah. oh yeah oh yeah yeah guys man two episodes left i hope to well i mean i guess we'll find out if this series you know they've asked scott gimple there's been a couple of interviews where they've asked scott gimple you know will there be another series and of course he's very he's keeping his cards close to his close to the vest i mean he's not saying anything you know he says oh yeah we would love to do more or love to tell more but it's like is this truly a limited series to six episodes and that's it i guess we'll find out how these final two episodes go to really know whether or not there's going to be more or if they're truly going to finish this yeah in the final two episodes if they're going to get home if they do it as good as they've been doing it yeah. like i'm not i'm i think they could do look, it look i, I always they could do it I, i'm just saying yeah. i'd be okay if it was a six. Oh, i'd be okay right with it. Like oh, yeah, if yeah, they yeah. ended yeah. this the way that we want to en- it ended mm-hmm. and it's done as well as it's been done so far yeah man this is one of those ones where like you know you want to buy the the electronic versions and have them there so you oh, can exactly. rewatch it you know oh it's, yeah I'm just really yeah. enjoying this series. So oh, far. this series is so damn good. Yeah. So damn good. So let us know your thoughts in the comments of this episode, guys. Let us know any predictions and theories that you might have leading up to episode five. And uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're not predation. We're out. Yeah.